Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we're looking at the Campbelltown Tier 3 destroyer. You may or may not know about the history of the, uh, the Campbelltown. Very glorious little ship that went through an awful lot at San Jose. So this version of it has got three pieces of artillery, three main batteries. So 302 mil guns with a range of uh, 9.2 kilometers. Quite good, nice bit of firepower. You can put in uh, arm piercing or high explosive. Torpedoes, you've got a batch of three torpedoes from either side. So looking at the, the torpedoes, they've got a range of seven and a half uh, kilometers and quite a nice speed of uh, 57 knots. Anti-aircraft guns, hardly anything. So, Campbelltown. We've got those nice torpedoes, very good range in between. Not, I was gonna say not bad, but not good, not good um, guns. Very good stealth ability and good manoeuvrability. So let's see what we can actually do with this. So we're getting into a battle and seeing where we are, you know, what we're, what we're facing, how we can help the team. So destroyers, you're like the light scouts. You get in, you're nimble. It's not really about your gunfire, but your, your job is to go against other light ships take them out so they can not spot your team and that's what you want to do so our job is to to go in take out their equivalent ships their destroyers show where their ships are and put up smoke screens to protect our ships from being spotted by their by their destroyers so our perfect range is six and a half to seven and a half kilometers so let's have a look what are we up against campbelltown Novik. Not bad, not bad. So, looking at this little ship, thinking what we can do. So we'll push up towards A in the islands and think about capping. Move in, help the team. Get ready, get the torpedoes ready and... General quarters. And use our maneuverability and stealth and spotting ability to help the team. So we're going out, we're gonna to circle towards A spot what we can spot. We've got a couple of cruisers with us, battleships and a couple of cruisers in the centre, so we may have to move towards B, but we'll push in, see if we can see the enemy team early, find where they are. There's no aircraft carriers, so there aren't going to be any planes, which is good, so it's purely eyeball mark ones of what we can spot and how we can protect the team. Okay, we found them already. So if we turn in, try and spot more of their team. Lit them up for our team, so, uh, so we want to stay away from uh, between six and a half and seven and a half kilometers. So we'll just get those in. So six and a half to seven and a half, so we're not spotted. So we turn away. We want to be outside seven and a half kilometers. He may have spotted us very briefly, but we're heading away. We get our other torpedoes ready to go. There's someone else there. They are capturing everything. They are they, they're one ship and many points ahead of us. We need to do smoke. So smoke generator started. get out of here. Yep, definitely time to get out of here. Smoke screen set. He's 
probably going to be out of range. He's got much. We're moving fast. How's the how are the guns looking? He's moving very quickly. The other guy has crossed his T. He'd be more accurate if he slowed down. They're both moving very quickly towards each other. You know you want to. These graphics are fantastic. Ooh, ouch. They're both doing damage, they both want to hurt each other. Now this is what they call a sea battle. The other guy's on fire. Ooh, dear. Poor Macaron. Ouch. They're both in a bit of a state. Well, Solving uh, 585 has done a really good job. He's from a position where he was he was down. He came away with that very, very nicely. So let's have a look. One destroyed, one uh, Torp in. Let's have a look. 148 experience, better than nothing. Detailed report. HE damage and a torpedo, so 8,000, 8, so about 10,000 10, damage, which was okay. And let's have a look. Credits and experience. Came away with 19,000 repairs, so made 15,500 and, and uh, 400 experience uh, yeah experience so is this a good little ship it's a very fun ship tetris ships modules oh that's cool so looking back at this a little bit of repair a very nice little ship those torpedoes are incredibly functional very good uh, arc that you can use right the way around, four, four and aft. Very, very useful. The guns are quite good. They're not the best, actually. They're, well, they're, they're, they're a bit they're a bit lame. There's not a lot of them. They're quite accurate, but they don't do a lot of damage at all. Maybe I was using the wrong sort of ammo. Maybe I needed to be using uh, armor piercing. But they just didn't seem to do it. But the torpedoes are very, very good. And spinning from one side to the other to bring the torpedoes to bear is very, very good. So let's have a look and see whether this, this is worth the money. So what we're looking at, let's have a look. So the ship itself, the Caltown, for £5.34, is it worth it? Yes, definitely. So it's a really nice little ship, tier three, and it's 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 got the reputation. It's it means means what it says. You know, it's it's not messing around. It's got good stealth abilities. It's a very nimble, nippy little ship. As long as you can stay hit, stay hidden, and fire your torpedoes from range, 
don't get too close because guns are pretty ineffective anyway. It's your torpedoes which are doing the damage. So I, I think the best way is to stay at range, stay beyond six, somewhere between six and a half and seven and a half kilometers to be able to drop the torpedoes, wait for them to run into them, and repeat that. Just keep getting away. Use the uh, the speed of the ship to get away. So those uh, that speed of what's it's thirty yeah th thirty five knots. Good turning circle, good rudder shift time, but pants guns. So the torpedoes are pretty good. So we did about eleven thousand and nine. Oh, sorry, yeah, eight to nine thousand damage of eleven twelve, which is okay. So is this value? Yeah, I'm sure it's a really good value ship. It's and it's good fun. And it's the second British ship that's available with a heck of a history, and I'm glad that I've got one. So. Thank you, Wargaming. Thank you for bringing the Campbell Tower to us. And this goes alongside the Warspite as... Well, the Warspite is my favourite British ship. The Campbell Town's my second favourite British ship. Well, there are only two. and But it's a lovely little ship. So, uh, yes, I hope you like this. Put in the comments what you think. If I can do anything differently, just let me know. And uh, have a great time and enjoy these ships. I'm the Gaming Bear, and see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.